Hey everyone, take a look at what I made. Now, I know I said at one point that I wasn't that big into mob grinders or XP farms or whatever, but <laughs> I don't know, I had the idea for this and I just really wanted to make it. So let me explain what's going on here. Over here we have a tank full of liquid XP. And on the right, we have a drain. And we can use this drain to remove the XP from us and put it in this here tank. Let me show you. See, my, my levels went away. And that will slowly drain and fill up this tank. Now, if we want to gain back some levels or we just want to repair some equipment, come over to this side, turn the nozzle, and start getting some XP like that. I think it's a pretty, pretty neat idea. I know I'm probably not the first person to think of that, but yeah. In here, you remember we made that soul crystal. Well, I made another one. And then I went to a skeleton spawner we found a long time ago. And I just sat there and killed skeletons for like an hour. Until I got to the max tier of um, the soul crystal. So I don't know why it's taking them so long, but... I have a soul cage up in a room up there that's dark with that soul crystal in it and it should be continuously spawning yeah it is spawning skeletons and eventually pushing them into this hole where I have <laughs> this goofy looking create contraption that constantly damages the skeletons when they fall down here, and then the drops, including the XP, get sent along that conveyor. I don't know what's taking them so long. Oh, I think there's a traffic jam. Come on, guys. Break it up. That fix it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, okay, we'll let that keep going. So, the drops and the XP come along here. Anything that's enchanted will be disenchanted here. And the XP will be put in here and put into the tank. That's pretty much the gist of it. Now you might be wondering, what about these two cabinets? Well, if I have something that I want to disenchant and get the XP out of, I can just slap it in here. It'll go along through here, be disenchanted, and then be put into here. Now this is actually connected to... Oh look, here comes some XP. So that'll go in the drain. Now this is actually connected to whole bunch of storage under this floor that we can access with this terminal. So as you can see, this farm has been doing a lot for us, and this tank is going to slowly fill up over time. Anyway, that's enough about that. What I actually want to do today is, and this may sound a little goofy, let's sleep. I actually want to make an apartment complex. Well, it's more like a series of townhomes that I will eventually fill with villagers. 
want to bring over some villagers that I trade often with and give them their own home. Now, you might notice it looks a bit empty over here. I got rid of the stables that was here. Because I thought it was kind of ugly. I got rid of the two weird rocks that were housing animals. And all the animals are kind of over here for the time being. Because I want to use this space to make the townhomes. So, yeah. I've also started planting more trees. I really like these maple these silver maple trees. So I started planting some of them around. Anyway, so we're gonna get into building these townhomes. Of course it's raining. And to do that, I have all these materials. So let me pull up the image. All right now, none of that. Oh, a soul star. Okie dokie. So, actually I need a bit of dirt. It's the only thing I forgot. One other thing I'll say about this episode is I have become aware Actually, I've been aware for a very long time, many months about an audio issue with my videos that comes up uh, kind of sporadically and I've never mentioned it before because it's one of those things where if it didn't bother you already, me pointing it out might make it start bothering you. But in some of my videos, my mic makes has a really high-pitched whine in the background that I've noticed pretty much since I started making videos. And I've tried everything to fix it. Um, and I don't really know what's causing the issue. Or at least I didn't until I was doing some more experimenting. And it seems to be that Uh, the fact that I have my headphone, or my uh, mic, using a USB extension cord seems to be the culprit. Wait, how long did I make this? I need to go check this one, uh, this one thing really quick. So, yeah, my headphones, or not my headphones, my mic doesn't reach all the way with the USB cord that it shipped with. Why does this look too short? this is right. Uh, so this whole time I've been using this extension cord uh, and I think maybe the extension cord is defective or just doesn't have a great connection because I recently discovered if I try um, just plugging the mic in straight to the computer. It 
even though it doesn't reach for my arm, like the mic arm, but just in testing it, that high-pitched squeal seems to go away. So I've now ordered a much longer cable that won't need an extension cord. And I'm hoping that will fix it. Now, hopefully, hopefully you also don't notice it in this episode, because while I wait for that cord to arrive, I am testing using my other mic, the Yeti X, just for this video to see what it's like. Uh, it doesn't work so well with the mic arm I have so I probably won't use it long term after I get this new cord for the normal Blue Yeti unless you guys seem to really like uh, this mic uh, but yeah I noticed this mic doesn't have that high pitched squeal problem so and another thing about that is that squeal only shows up when OBS is open. If OBS is closed, that's not an issue. But for some reason, whatever OBS is doing, it makes that squeal uh, show up in the background. And some days it's barely noticeable or not noticeable, and other days it's worse. I don't really understand the logic behind it, but I've noticed it for a long time and done my best to mitigate it. Anyway, that was a bunch of yapping about that. Um, and a lot of you, if maybe if you're over the age of 40 or if you don't use headphones, you might not even notice what I'm talking about which is good, since you start uh, losing the very top range of your hearing as you get older. But it definitely bothers me, so I know there's the potential for it to... What was that? Oh. Oh, is there a skeleton out here? And I see there's an Enderman sitting in there. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Another thing I just realized is I forgot to bring glass over here. So let's go get some glass. But yeah. Even if this Yeti X sounds great, I probably won't keep it on this computer because it really doesn't work well with this mic arm. And the cable situation is just isn't working out as well as the normal Blue Yeti. But again, if you guys really like the way this one sounds compared to the other, I will just try to make this one work, even after the new cord arri arrives. Okay, here, let's um, start actually focusing. Like that doesn't go there. So I'm making these kind of really simple townhomes for some villagers. We'll start with just four, and we can perhaps expand that later on. Now, in my, like, mock-up, the thing I made in creative mode, um, I actually used pine wood instead of maple here. 
but for the life of me. Well, I had some pine planks in storage, but I didn't have any saplings, which was really bizarre. And then I even went out exploring for a long time, trying to find a sapling or a pine tree that I could grow more of. And for the life of me, I could not find pine again. I don't know if maybe this updated version of the mod pack uh, removed those trees and just left the planks behind, but I could not find it. So we're going to pivot and I'm going to use maple here instead, which looks just as, just as good as I think. But again, this is just going to be a really simple design. Uh, I'm not going to get too fancy with it since it's just for the villagers. And let's face it, the villagers don't need, you know, the most luxurious co accommodations. If you ask me, each of these villagers gets their own balcony, too. And these things are like... Like as big as the starter home that I had on this world for a long time. So, these villagers should not be complaining. <laughs> bringing the villagers over here, however, it's probably going to make me complain. I won't do that on video, but it's like the most annoying thing you have to do in Minecraft. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to, is trying to corral villagers where you want them to go. I know the whole, like, put them in a boat and you can boat across the land if you need to, but as soon as you hit a ledge, it just kind of stops you, and it's just super annoying. I wish I could take them through the, the waystone teleporters with me, but I don't think that works. Another issue with this mic is I can't hear myself as well. For some reason, the output volume My mom is calling. Okay. A couple hours later, had some dinner. Uh, <laughs> read the news and uh, got really kind of scared, to be honest. Oh, wait, I need to of my reference image again. Look, I don't want to ever really get political on this channel, but I am pretty scared about what's going to happen 
this coming November with the United States election. I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to talk anymore about it, especially since it might be very anxiety inducing for some people. So let's keep building. So for every pair, the apartment on the right will have this like downstairs balcony thing and the apartment on the left will have an upstairs one and they kind of intersect in the middle here. So that's what I'm doing right now. If I could place blocks correctly. is a very lovely shade of blue. Got this from the, I think they're called Skyris. Yeah, Skyris trees. Almost looks like an S. Um, what did I do for the floor here? Hmm, well, I guess we can decide that. Maybe a more neutral wood color, like, what's this? See, that's pine, I want more of that. But maybe just oak? Good old, actually, what about boards? Yeah, let's do this. How did I make this? Let's make some more of these boards. <laughs> All the horses and... <coughs> Excuse me. All the horses and the donkey just kind of piled up right there. Does this clash? Is this too many colors? No, I think it's okay. Oops, not that. Okay for now. I can change it later if I want to. I also think the aesthetic of this uh, townhome design will fit in pretty seamlessly with uh, the rest of the space. much trouble placing blocks when I'm just playing by myself and not recording. I don't know what it is about. Actually, I think I do know what it is. I think it's the somewhat awkward angle I sit at. Uh, well, not really awkward. I just kind of have the mic like right in my face. Um. So I kind of have to sit slightly angled so I can see around it. <laughs> so I think that like throws off my hand-eye coordination just ever so slightly. Okay, time to go up. as 
this is concerned I think that's uh, yeah that's correct Something very pleasing to me about corner windows. I don't know what it is. I should probably have a window in the back, but for now I'm not gonna. <laughs> to be honest, it's like where you would would want the window have a nice view of the ocean I'll come back later and add some more details like that I say that a lot I don't always do it I uh, never went back and decorated the inside Ugh of the lighthouse. I never decorated the second floor of that manor. I really just like doing exteriors, if I'm honest with you. But I don't think the people, or uh, the person who requested the lighthouse even watches anymore, so <laughs> I'm not that worried about it. So now we're just going to do that over and over. I know I say this a lot, but I'm getting kind of excited for the prospect of having a Patreon server to play on. I think it would just be so much fun playing with some of you. It's uh, as well received as I want it to be, and then people actually, people actually want to do it. Again, not that I uh, need the money. It's really just so I can play with some of you, and you know, obviously, I can't just make an open server for anyone to join. That's just asking for. Well, people to join who would abuse the server or cause problems or just stay for like a day and leave, and I can't have that. Well, I need more gray concrete apparently, so let's make some more of that if I can. Um. And wonder if I can use this sand. What's the other thing I need? Is it gravel? It's not gonna be enough. Uh, how much more do I need? Let me take a look. Let's say probably at least three stacks. Die. Nice. <laughs> um, what's the other recipe for this? Can't do that, can't do that. Let's see if we can use 
other sand like probably not but let's try this oh nice I don't even have enough oh boy all right well you're coming with me on a gravel and sand adventure I do love the Elytra. I know I was ragging on it during one episode. Not really... I wasn't really ragging on the Elytra itself. More of the design philosophy behind it. In that it just makes other things obsolete as soon as you get it. Which I think is just bad design in general. Hello? Did someone say something? Oh, there's a crab up there. Let's put some of this in here. I don't need all this junk in my inventory. Alright, now let's get some gravel. Ouch. Surely there's some gravel around here somewhere. Hmm. Mr. Gravel, where art thou? Surely on this mountain. right here. Alright, that should be enough for now. Now, a cool data pack I added uh, is the ability to quickly make powdered concrete into solid concrete uh, by throwing it in a cauldron which hey I don't know maybe you consider that cheating but I think just it's just such a tedious process that they should have something like this in the game anyway well, actually, let's see if I still have the data pack installed. Hope I do. Go in. And yeah, there we go. See, that's much. That's a that's a nice process. All right, thank you. Yeah, I think these are going to look cute. Nice little places for the villagers to live. I really dislike that dog sometimes. It's nothing but a woofer. taking out these back blocks on each one because that's where the stairs are going to go. I like, I like this kind of build. <laughs> it doesn't take much brain power from me of trying to follow a picture or something, which for some reason is just really difficult for me. <laughs> it's just the same thing over and over, which is nice and easy and relaxing. If I 
have enough blocks. Keep those fingers crossed, folks. sand and gravel. I really do like these trees. I also turned off the bushy leaves. Um, <laughs> uh, not that I didn't like the bushy leaves. I really like how the bushy leaves look. Because of the fact that there's so many mod packs, sure would be a shame if something bad happened to that dog. Just saying. I don't even know what I was talking about before the dog interrupted again. Oh, bushy leaves. I liked them, but some of the mod packs didn't have bushy leaves, so it was like some of them were bushy and some of them weren't and it was just kind of like driving me crazy so I figured I'd just turn them off do we think that's enough? Probably not, knowing me. Place, place your bets. Do we think I have enough gray concrete? Oh wait, what am I doing? professional YouTuber. Alright, let's do the other things and then we'll we'll finish that off at the end. That probably means I don't have enough white either. We shall see. This ebony wood. Such a dark, interesting color. Okay, now go away, Rain. Oh, it's much better. Peace and quiet. So 
so. This white is going to be up here. You all know concrete's my favorite block. If anybody asks, what's what's Void's favorite block? You already know what the answer is. It's concrete. I mean, just look how clean and smooth and pleasing to look at it is. The other blocks could learn a thing or two from concrete. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough white either. Slabs are nice because you can make a floor out of them and give the space below a little more headroom. so quaint. I don't know, I just like looking at it. <laughs> It'd be nice to have villagers nearby as well and not have to take the waste stones everywhere. Which, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that I actually changed... Oh wait, I was using spruce. I modified the waystones configuration. Um, to instead of requiring just one level all the time, which is unfair if you're like level 30, it now requires a set amount of experience, which I think is like, I should have done that a long time ago. Because the difference between level 1, level 2, and uh, level 29, level 30 is massive. But it would have charged you the same either way. Uh, let's do 
do this. No. Like that. And then this person has their balcony out here. Like that. And let's get the banisters. And again, I will do the interiors off camera just because it takes a lot of humming and hawing and staring at it and contemplating life's mysteries. Oh wait, I just realized I'm stupid. This person doesn't get two balconies. <laughs> This person gets that balcony. Um, yeah, I want it over here. Okay. Very good. split up these. That's not how things work. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I am thinking processing what I should do there because this is not going to be used because these two are going to use these maybe it should be like community area in there hmm. I will give that some thought off camera For now, let's finish up these. Let's finish up the bits that I'm sure about. Yeah, I need to replace all this floor too. some stuff here. <laughs> I can just hardly reach that.
you are seeing exclusive footage of me <laughs> playing around with a build. And what if we had a, like a walkway going under there? I don't know, that kind of gets in the way of the aesthetic. Yeah, I don't know about that. viewing area back here. What do you say to that? I think that's a good plan. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to finish off that roof and decorate things a bit more and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, so this is what we have going on. I think this came out really nice. I added this kind of sidewalk with my old friend Cyan Terracotta. It's a walkway that goes through here, and I'll add a, a viewing area out here at some point. Added these azalea bushes along the path, some hanging flowers, lanterns. I just think it looks really good, and I can't wait to move some villagers in and probably add more of these units on in the future to make room for more villagers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this relaxing and I will see you next time.